right, welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and look in to see what broke on the steering. Already got the wheels taken off. Get these batteries taken out of here. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear the servo. Oh. Stripped out the servo saver. That's a first for me. Most definitely. Look at that. Feels like the like the servo saver stripped out. Like I said, got them wrapped in beanies to protect the batteries. As you see, they're really small packs. Whole reason I'm protecting them because I've already lost two sets of batteries. So I've got to me it looks like it's stripped out on the servo horn is what it looks like because everything is turning except the servo horn so the servos turning all the suspension is turning but the connection between the servo horn which i don't even know if that's considered a servo horn so we're going to pop I think the whole front of this off and uh, and go from there. They're saying they're pretty easy to take apart if you know what to take apart. I don't always remember. That one is missing a screw there. And that's loose. So we'll have to get a screw for that. So I took out the four. I gotta take these two off. So I've got four, I've got the part that holds the support brace across, upper brace, and then I got the two for the upper, I guess you would consider that the upper bell crank that attaches the shock towers. All these bolts for a cover should be the same. Drive shaft is still in there. And I'm just not sure what else needs to come off split this in half wonder if this upper brace has to come out of here because that's maybe we don't even have to take off that 
probably just pull this upper brace. So here's the hot racing upper support. And it looks like the screw backed out. The screw, the bearing, everything. So there is some more screws down in here. don't think those are part of them I mean I know how to take it apart in pieces steering's kind of the worst to get to Kind of get to it. Guess I should pull the shocks off. Gonna have to get an upper bulkhead now. And then I thought I bought an upper bulkhead for and straps, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to find the parts. I think I'm gonna have to buy them. I know I have them somewhere but I can't get to anything in this storage unit. plastic thing for that forgot about those these shocks come out there's two plastic clips on each side because these have the metal the metal upgrade shock caps let me try to find the other one of these before I continue all right, so here's what failed. Oh, there's a strap. So this upper bulkhead is broken, but this piece looks like it came off. Bearing and everything is just loose in here. It's like a... I don't know if they consider that the bell crank. but I can't even get to that screw. Screw's right here. And I can't even get to that. So I'm still gonna have to pull the front of this thing apart. And that's all it is. The screw came loose. It backed out and popped out of the bracket. Bearing everything popped out. And that's what this support is supposed to hold but I can tell that it's loosened up. Gonna need some more Loctite on these two screws. That's all it was. Everything's just starting to vibrate loose. Just all them impacts are killing this thing. 
Um, how am I going to get to that servo piece? Because I think this all stays when I take that screw out over here. Take this screw out. That disconnects the steering from the servo. You can tell with all the dirt on that thing, it's been backing out for a while. And that's probably why I could never center the steering is because the whole servo arm was coming off the servo. I'm gonna end up rebuilding the whole front of this thing. Take off the steering. And then I'm just going to pull these pins and take off the arms completely. And we're just going to take this thing apart in sections for now. I just can't remember off the top of my head how to pull the thing as an assembly. Which I know it's pretty easy, but I'll figure it out here in a minute. I need to look at all this stuff anyway. Since everything's starting to come loose and did break this upper upper bulkhead which sucks almost all torn down looks like there's two more screws up in here that are down in there wow so it's just the two in the front that are underneath that you got to take off. These were the two I was missing. These two. And that would have pulled apart the whole front end. Oh, and look, diff cup screw is missing too. Oh, diff cup screw broke off in the diff yep so now I'll need to take the diff apart but the screws broken in there for the diff cup so I have to drill and tap that <clears throat> this is gonna be a pretty big project to rebuild now this was the piece that came undone and it works it was just coming loose so we'll have to power this up get this centered again and then that'll fix this part of it and then I'm gonna have to fix the diff but that's what's going on let me uh let me plug in some batteries get the remote and then we'll center this thing real quick so we can at least get this part put back together and i'll start assembling everything and i can just pull the front diff cover and get that done we'll be right back i'm gonna grab the remote we're gonna center our steering and then this needs to be straight up and down And then the dirty screw, wherever it went. Uh -huh. 
Nice and tight. So that's back together now. Go ahead and turn all this stuff off. Batteries unplugged. And now I can start the reassembly procedure to get this whole thing put back together. And then we'll have to deal with this, uh, this diff cup. But steering, not binding anywhere, which is good. Years of a uh, lot of bash sessions with this thing. I've oh, got to get the drive shaft put back in. So what happens on the upper is the bulkhead ends up cracking one of the ears off. Like I was talking about to those guys in the last video. So I gotta remember about these two funky screws that go up in there. Oh, there's that busted, uh, axle screw you can see it broke off at the at the threads so that was here too so that must have happened in yesterday's video or it could have been broken for a while and now that i'm taking it apart it finally decides to fall out let's see these are here gotta look for my upper bulkhead too see if I have one before I put the steering back together because I'll have to take off this strap to get this upper bulkhead out so let me see if I can find my upper bulk see if I have any upper bulkheads all right, so the upper bulkhead that's broken on this one, the one I have is a 7727R. We all know that the R was the revised one for the XRT, which means the back of this, and this is supposed to work on both now, but what I noticed is that these back screws are longer. So I'm gonna call the hobby store, see if they have a 7727 without the R, which should be the X-Max one and see if i can get another tie bar ordered up because i need a tie bar here and at least a tie bar back here to stop these from breaking i thought i did both x maxes apparently i only did one so might need a front diff and i need a tie bar i found this and i did find the body which is the proline body right here the x max body this is the Dodge Ram, is what this is. So we're going to get this thing painted up, and uh, I'm going to see if I can locate a 7727 without the R. As you see, these things are 5 bucks. They break all the time. They break these ears off. But if you order one more of these tie bars, drill these small screws all the way through, and then put nuts on the back side, that'll support it and stop it from breaking. I can also just order another tie bar, drill it through, leave this piece broken, and just put a strap in the back, and that'll support my rear pin. I've done that before as well. So, but since I'm this deep into it, I know what the problem is for the steering. I'm going to see if I can get a front differential and see if I can get one of these because I don't know how easy it's going to be to drill that out 
and get that piece out of there. Um, definitely going to have to heat it up, but I'm not, uh, like I said, I got everything in storage right now. And I'm really not in a position to do these uh, major repairs, like drilling, tapping, that kind of stuff, soldering. I just don't have all that stuff. What happens is this slips in between the piece that's broken in here and these rear on a bad landing. This thing kicks out and breaks these ears off. So I don't know how long this one's been broken for. The rear still seems to be okay, but the front I am, like I said, I am missing it. So that's gonna conclude this because this is about as far as I can go until I can get parts. But there we go, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. And I keep getting asked over and over, where are you bashing? It's on the sign, Santa Clarita Bike Park. You guys out bashing? <laughs> yeah, it's having some problems, I'm Earl.